Hello kids! Today, we are talking about promises. Has anyone ever broken a promise to you? Have you ever made a promise to someone that you broke? Perhaps you promised your mom that you'd sleep early and you would stop teasing your brother or your sister, but you did not fulfill it. You may have even made a promise to someone even though you didn't plan to keep it. Unfortunately, most of us have done that. We have made a promise, but we did not keep it. Today's story that I want to talk to you is about Jacob and Rachel. Jacob and Rachel met and fell in love, but more than that, it's about making promises and keeping them. A man named Laban had two daughters, that is Rachel and this is Leah. Rachel was the younger sister and Jacob loved her. Leah was the older sister, but Jacob did not really love her because he loved Rachel, not Leah. Then Laban said, the father, the father of Rachel and Leah said to Jacob, You shouldn't work for me without pay just because we're relatives. Tell me how much your wages should be. And so Jacob thought about this because he loved Rachel, he said, Jacob said to Laban, Okay, I will work with you for seven years if you let me have your younger daughter Rachel as my wife. And so, Laban, this is Laban, there is Jacob, and there is Rachel. Laban said, Okay, agreed. So, Jacob worked for Laban by tending his sheep, his farm, for seven years. Imagine that, kids, that's a long time to work, right? Seven years. But even though if it was a long time to Jacob, it only seemed like a few days. You know why? Because he loved Rachel so much and he was so excited to marry her. Finally, after seven years, he went to Laban and said, Okay, I have done my seven years working for you. Give me uh, Rachel so that I can marry her. So Laban brought together all the people of the place and gave a big feast to celebrate. But you know what? When the night came, Laban went into the darkness and gave his daughter Leah to Jacob instead of Rachel. So, Jacob married Leah instead of Rachel. And Jacob realized that Laban switched his bride that morning when he woke up and so you know what Jacob said to Laban didn't I work for you for seven years for Rachel but why did you trick me why you did not keep your promise to me you know what Laban did not apologize he did not offer anything to make it right with Jacob Laban said okay if you'll work for me for another seven years, then you will have Rachel for your wife. Imagine that kid seven more years. And because Jacob really loved Rachel, he agreed for working again for another seven years more. And then after seven years, Laban kept his promise and gave Jacob his daughter Rachel as his wife. Hmm? Laban? Laban wasn't very good at keeping his promise, right? 
But then, we have someone who is very, very good in keeping his promise to us. And that is God. God keeps his promise to keep us and love us all the time. Okay, kids? So, let us trust God that he will keep us safe. He will be with us. And he will bless us. God will bless all of you. Okay, kids, when God makes a promise, we know that He will keep it. So, God wants us to be faithful too in keeping our promises. So, the next time when you break, make a promise, be sure to keep it, okay? Don't break your promise. Okay, kids? Yes. Mm, before I go, let's uh, sing a song. It says, this is my commandment. You follow after me, okay? Once more. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy Maybe full. Okay, let's sing. Sing after. Sing with me, kids. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. That your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. Okay, kids, let's sing it faster. Okay? This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full. Once more, this is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another, that your joy may be Okay, kids, let me lead you in prayer. Would you clasp your hands and then close your eyes? And then let us pray. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for keeping your promises to us. Thank you for being here always to help us. Please help us faithfully to keep the promises that we make to others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye-bye, kids. Take care.